I'm your new chef, Cookie McDougal. Now, I'm a little new to Scottish cooking, but I've been doing a wee bit of research, and I'm sure all you lads and lassies will be great. <laughs> These have been in the freezer for three months, and you want to serve them to customers? This is a restaurant, you jag off, not a Viet Cong prison camp. Are you sweating in the soup? What the hell is wrong with you? You know what? Screw it. Let's just serve them warmed over piss. Squat down. No? Then start over. <laughs> you can't cry in the kitchen. If I see one more of you motherfuckers crying in here, it's in the fucking oven you go. Head first. You think I'm playing? <laughs> I thought Canada was a state, like Iowa, or South America. It's a separate country attached to the top of America. Like a bad toupee. Or a brain tumor. Hey, gang. I asked the mess hall to prepare some authentic Canadian cuisine in anticipation of our naturalization. Ew! This is a French-Canadian dish. It's French fries, cheese curds, and... Whoa, did you say cheese turds? Curds, like curds and whey, in Little Miss Muffet. I don't care who she is. She just murdered them french fries. And then someone blew a load all over them. What's the brown stuff? Looks like crap. Do they eat crap in Canada? They do not eat crap in Canada. So what do them Frenchies call this stuff? Uh, actually, it doesn't matter what it's called. Sure it does. Let's hear it. I don't want to say. Petey, you can't just roll out covered cheese fries and hold out on the name. Fine, it's called poutine. What was that? Uh, poutine. All right, it's called poutine. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case. But it ain't all bad up here. They got this fluffy, delicious taste sensation called a beaver tail. Thanks, Petey. My pleasure. Boy, those sure went fast. I'm all over it. Get the maple syrup. We'll be licking tail and eating beaver in no time. Now that we live here in vagina, if you think we're above making a few obvious beaver jokes, forget about it. Oh, hello. You must be one of Teresa's many, many boyfriends. Petey, it's me. Have we met before? I can't quite place you. Well, better get back to the books. Nice meeting you. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> What's happening to me? Thanks for fitting us into your busy schedule, Dexter. Hey, man, we play in the CFL. Someone say free food, we come running. And what a running game you guys got. We're going to need it against Toronto. That's a world-class city. How's that? You ever meet someone from Toronto? Within 30 seconds, they tell you they're from a world-class city. New Yorkers have a name for Toronto. Nice try. <laughs> What's going on, Cook? Stereo's broken. Who wants more six alarm chili? No thanks. I'm a vegetarian. Don't worry, this ain't real meat. It's pigeon. <gasps> Did you say pigeon? It's good, huh? I use my seniors' discount at the dollar store. North Korea's finest! Oh, Christ! Jimmy, I don't feel so... Are you kidding me? Pigeon meat? Oh, I suppose His Majesty would prefer seagull, the rich man's pigeon. That's good luck. Saskatchewan's Great Cup dreams took a nightmarish turn today when the entire team fell violently ill. Nothing means anything anymore. I'm going home. Ah! Oh, I'm just supposed to be observing. Can I at least get some powder? <coughs> <coughs> 
football fans are gathered outside Wiscana Hospital on the eve of the Grey Cup. Defensive tackle Dexter Mills urged Ryder Nation not to lose faith. Please, let me die. Sources suggest the team got food poisoning at this area home. Oh, wow, that's my house. N near that house where the bloodthirsty mob has gathered. Ah, uh, poor Jimmy can't catch a break. Oh, ow! Jesus Christ, Chief! Ow! What the hell? Oh, sorry, Jimmy. I thought you was one of them nut jobs trying to get in. Ah! Ow! Good Lord! Jimmy, Cheech, what the heck? What are you doing in here, McCool? You should be outside getting them lunatics off my sidewalk. Jimmy, if you thought crossing the Mafia was dangerous, wait until Ryder Nation sobers up enough to get their hands on you. Excuse my French, but c'est un gros problème! I got no idea what you just said. Well, get used to it, because that's what you'll be hearing when I put you in double witness protection in Northern Quebec! Ooh, those guys hate Canada as much as we do. <gasps> If we forfeit, you die. Sincerely, the people of Saskatchewan. P.S. Sorry about the window. We enclosed a check for the cost of replacement. I think this is for you. No one politely threatens me. <laughs> Make sure he gets his ball back. <laughs> Great catch, Jimmy. <laughs> Great throw, McCool. Great chili cheese. <laughs> I'm royal taster. I gotta tell you, this ain't good. Good heavens! James! James! Oh, so now Sir Jimmy's too good for my cooking. I came as soon as I got your message. Jimmy, this is FBI agent Rick Chick Magnet. Is pepperoni okay? All they had was pepperoni. It's kind of cold. What do you feds want from me now? The Bureau wants to interview you for an ongoing investigation, Jimmy. Nice to meet you. I'm Special Agent McCool. Let me guess. First name, not so? Nice uniform, not so. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say, Jimmy? Deal or not a deal? No way. I had enough of being a no-good snitch for one lifetime. In the eyes of the U.S. government, you're no snitch. You, sir, are a hero. You sure you got the right Jimmy? Oh, and by the way, I brought eight pounds of gabagool from Polly's Deli in New York. Yay! <laughs> Jimmy, what's a gablagoo? It's lunch meat. Now put on some pants, will you? Come on in, chick magnet. I guess I'll be heading back to the old hospital. <laughs> For Canada! And ow! Oh, my stitches popped. <laughs> Guess what? I won first place at the high school science fair. Sponsored by Wheat Corp, a subsidiary of Wheat Thin Enterprises. We have to say that last part or their lawyers come after us. Congratulations, Petey! What'd you do? You're stupid? Cause Cheech will buy it twice. I totally would. I designed a weight loss app that counts calories in food. I call it the Calogrammeter. 4,000 calories, jeez, Pop. How many calories was that, you food-shaming little jerk? 125? I hate to tell ya, but somebody already thought of that. Adolf Einstein. How was this possible? A product of Wheat Corp? Richard Wheaton stole my idea! Uh-oh! Don't want to be late for school! 42 calories? I wouldn't talk, kid. I've seen you come out of the shower. At least mine has a mustache. I don't know, Ma. This junk food diet you got Gina on feels like a bad idea. It's just temporary. I'm trying to prove a point for the greater good. Did you feel that? Felt like an impact tremor. His guys were so big. Someone messes with you, you give him a little belly buck. Boom! That down for the count. But you're turning into a whale. Ah, zip it, Skeletor. You're nothing but a chubby, hating fattest. Ma, this is child abuse, and I'm not gonna stand for it. Ooh, ooh. There, now you're not standing. Ooh. 